The Black Lives Matter movement has been the catalyst for change in law enforcement, government, major business, and even the sports and entertainment world. Now anti-racism is taking center stage in another way. Advocates are now combating racial prejudice in the theater industry. CityNews.ca writer and reporter Dee Berman has been delving into this disturbing behavior both on the stage and behind the scenes. Good morning to you, Dee. Yes, absolutely. As we've seen, you know, systemic racism is not just a problem in America. We've definitely got our own problems here up in Canada. In fact, we do have a series on our website, citynews.ca, about anti-black racism in Canada. And like you said, the arts are definitely not immune. I have been talking to two employees from Mervish who say that they have dealt with racist comments and behavior, not only from their own co-workers, but also from their patrons. I hate Indian food. It smells bad. And if you eat it, you smell bad too. This used to be a good neighborhood, basically, implying that all the immigrants have made it terrible. Yeah. If you're in line to take a take, they'll generally go to the white person. One of the employees has even described uh, a patron touching his hair. And now Kristen and Ashley say that they have taken their concerns to their managers and they have been having a few meetings with them, but they don't think that enough is being done. Um, we reached out to Mervish as well, and they say that they are delving into how to combat systemic racism in theater. And they're also going to be hiring a consultant to help them do that. On City News at 5 and 6, I'm going to have more with Ashley and Kristen and their calls for the company to take a stand on Black Lives Matter. And I'll have the company's response as well.